Hi, I'm Tess, and today I'm going to teach you ladies how to pee in the woods. As a woman, peeing outside can be a little intimidating. You wonder if you'll be able to find enough privacy or that you might accidentally pee on yourself or your clothes. But just remember that women have been peeing outside since before there were toilets. There are apparatuses you can buy that will allow you as a woman to pee standing up. But I'm not a huge fan of these as you have to then clean and carry them around with you. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time in the backcountry, often with other women, and I've picked up a lot of helpful tips that I think are even easier than using some kind of apparatus. The first step is picking a good spot. There are three things that make for a good spot. The first is privacy. You're going to need 365 degrees of privacy, ladies, as you do have to pull your pants all the way down. Secondly, you want some place safe. You want to make sure there aren't any harmful plants around you, any ant hills or other animal holes. The third is to make sure that you're somewhere either relatively level or with a downward incline and you're going to face downhill with your feet pointing downhill. The second thing you're going to do is stand with your feet at least shoulder width apart. I've got my running tights on underneath my shorts today so that with a little bit of privacy I can show you step three which is to pull your pants down to about the tops of your knees. It's important that you don't go all the way down to your ankles or up too high, otherwise you will pee on your pants. So pull them down just to the top of your knees like so. Step four is to squat all the way down. You wanna make sure you get all the way down in this relaxed position with the backs of your legs resting on your calves. If you're in kind of a partial squat because you're hesitating, you might end up peeing down your leg. So relax all the way down in that position. If you have a hard time balancing, you can put a hand or two in front of your legs. At this point, I like to double check and make sure that my pants are still in a good position. You don't really need to worry about your pant legs even if you're wearing long pants. It's the crotch of your pants that you have to worry about. A lot of times if I'm worried, I'll even grab the back part of the crotch and then bring it up to the front just so I make sure it stays out of the way. Finally, the part I don't need to tell you how to do you go pee. If you bring toilet paper with you to use, make sure that you take your used toilet paper out with you and don't bury it in the ground. You pack it in, you pack it out. There's nothing that makes me sadder than getting to some pristine destination and seeing somebody else's toilet paper in the bushes. Now you can pee anywhere without the use of an apparatus or a strategically placed rock or tree. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. Okay, now I gotta pee. For reals.